Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Metaphor ReFantasio is a game that I've been personally looking forward to, made by the same people that did Persona. It's a JRPG coming out October 11th, but there is a demo that you can currently check out on PC and console. And that's exactly what I did, and found out this game has some uh, glaring performance issues on PC. Console as well, by the way, which we're going to take a look at. And there is a few things you can do to fix the performance issues, including a mod. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to take a look at the game and uh, go over some fixes. So yeah, let's check it out. We're using a pretty high-end build here, RTX 4090 and Ryzen 7800X 3D. For this video, I'm going to focus on 4K resolution. And for graphical settings, there isn't a whole lot. You got texture quality. We have it set to high, uncapped FPS, and ambient occlusion is turned to on. Now, right in the beginning, you're faced with a ton of frames. So things look good at first, but you begin playing a little bit, and then all of a sudden you run into hitches and little stutters. And then there's also the matter of performance inconsistencies. You could be looking in one area and you're getting 100 plus FPS and you look in the other, you drop in into the 60s and uh, it's just kind of jarring. On top of that, on PC, the game doesn't support ultra wide aspect ratio either, which sucks. But if you were to look at the GPU and CPU utilization, it's not even utilizing the CPU properly because it's barely being used and we have so much GPU power to spare, but yet we're dropping into the 60s. But if you thought this is just PC and it runs fine on console, no, there's issues on console as well. For example, I checked it out on my PlayStation 5 hooked up to an LG OLED TV which is what you're looking at on the screen, the FPS is unlocked with 120 hertz mode. There is no fidelity or performance mode, but the game will run from 50 FPS all the way to, uh, I don't know, 65, 67 during gameplay, and then go as high as 120 during cutscenes. So I don't even know how this game runs on non-VRR displays, you know, that has to be tearing. All right then, so before I go on a rant, I'm going to save it for the conclusion, but even though the developer doesn't seem to care for optimizations, what can you do as a user? Well, before we check out the mod, which is very easy to do, by the way, I'll show you how to do it. What I did was I set a 60 FPS frame rate cap through Rivatuna statistics server, which caused a bit of screen tearing. So I went into the game's graphical menu and I just enabled VSync. And as you can see in this very problematic area, uh, we're able to stay at 60. We have a lot more consistent frame times, frame rate, average and 1% low. So it's actually very, it feels very good. It, it definitely does. And it's also worth mentioning through my own experience playing the game for a couple hours, I defeated the first boss. That big open area seems to be the most problematic area. As a matter of fact, here we are uh, engaging into some combat and there's no mods here. We have an unlocked frame rate. And as you can see, we're getting, uh, I don't know, 130 to 200 and something FPS. So it's kind of all over the place. But as far as frame times and 1% lows, it's actually pretty good. It's much better than that beginning area, but I personally prefer consistency. So that's what we're going to do. Let's check out a mod that was um, actually I saw this on the Steam forum page. So let's go over it and check it out. See how much better it can improve the game for us. It's very easy to do. Now, I usually tend to check out the Steam forums whenever there's a game that has issues. And if you look at the ones with the most awards, there's usually some good information to be found. And there's this one post that says Special K Performance Fix. The way I understand it is this guy is the maker of Special K. I've heard of Special K. I've never really used it, but it's an optimization mod, apparently. And he's found some pretty bad code with the way the game utilizes the CPU, which is uh, really, really, really bad. Right, guys? It's 2024. I, I just don't get it. But anyway, so he leaves a link to a mod that we can just drop into our install directory and it's supposed to improve the performance. So that's what we're going to do. And let's check it out. To install this, it's pretty easy. Go to your Steam library, right click on Metaphor Re Fantasio Prologue Demo, go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. 
That should open up your installed directory for the game. Then go to your downloads folder, double click on the mod that we downloaded and just drag that one file from the mod folder to your installed directory. And that's it. Then launch the game. Okay, so we've now installed Special K and as you can see the frame rate is much better. Now if you do install this mod when you launch the game, you'll get a little banner. It'll tell you to press a command if you want to change or modify things. You don't have to. I didn't. You can just leave it alone and the game will just launch the way it's supposed to. And look at it. It runs much better guys. Even when we look towards the open field, we're not dropping into the 70s. I mean, it's utilizing your graphics card a lot more. So it's always interesting to me that some of these developers can be so incompetent that just a random guy online, okay, maybe not a random guy, but just a guy online can release a fix within uh, less than a day that improves on the game's performance. I, I just find that to be kind of insane. But anyway, what I wanted to do is make some uh, further tweaks of my own. And what we've done here is we've set a 120 FPS cap with Reba Tuna Statistics Server again. And I've also enabled VSync in the game's graphical settings menu because I'm using 120 Hz 4K OLED display. So I want it to be capped at 120 FPS. And I got to tell you guys, it actually feels extremely smooth. But if we were to take a look at the combat, it's pretty much locked at 120 because the open, big open outdoor areas they seem to be a bit more demanding. So yeah, even with a 4090 at native 4K. You could drop a little bit below 120, but for the most part in these areas, you'll be pretty good. And what's most important is the stutters and the hitches are more or less gone, right? You still encounter a couple of them here and there, but it's much, much better than it was previously without this mod. Here's the same uh, combat area, for example, without the mod and an uncapped frame rate, we have lower 1% lows and we see some uh, hitches and stutters Incoming. here and there. So yeah, I would say the Special K definitely improves things quite a lot. Now the way you can utilize all this stuff will depend on your hardware, right? Obviously I'm using a pretty high end build here, but if you're using a lower end build, you could target a lower resolution scale or you could try lowering the settings, lower resolution in general. What you could also do is something that I also tried was you could increase the resolution scale to 200%, which at 4K that would uh, render the game at 8K for better anti-aliasing. And you are actually able to maintain 60 in most cases with a 4090, although it does drop a bit below that but i think 120 for me anyway with my setup this is perfect there's still some issues that need addressing by the developer it shouldn't take modders to do this a pc port has to have ultra wide support i know some people like to um go on about this and say that uh people are complaining yes of course we're complaining we are customers right on pc we have ultra wide monitors it doesn't matter if that's a small fraction of the user base the way i see it is if a modder can release a mod that adds ultra wide which modders did, by the way, they did it for Persona 3 Reload, they did it for Shin Megami Tensei, all games that I've purchased, by the way, and I made ultra-wide guide videos for them, there should be proper settings, there should be optimizations, you should not release a game like that. I mean, even on console, as I showed you guys, this game has performance issues. Why can't the game not maintain a 60 FPS locked on a PlayStation 5? How does that make any sense, right? So, trust me, I... I am enjoying the game, I'm enjoying the demo, I'm probably gonna buy it if they fix it. I do like it, I'm glad they're putting it out, I like my JRPGs and I like the Persona games, but the game also needs to work properly. So to me this is indefensible, it needs to be pointed out, it needs to be fixed. I, I, I hate having to go on a rant because it's not really my style, but I feel if you are asking for a premium, right, which this game is, they're asking $70 for this game, right? The least they can do is have the game run at a locked 60 on a PlayStation 5, right? We're not talking about an Unreal Engine 5 game here. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Thanks to the Special K guy for uh, releasing a mod because he did what he could and it seems to improve on things. But I still think using a frame rate cap is advisable. You can do this many ways. You can use it through your driver. Or you can use Reva Tuna Statistics Server. It's completely up to you. But that's, that's, that's my thoughts on the game. I'm not happy that it released in the state that it's in. 
and I hope that they can fix it. I don't think it's going to be any different when the game launches in October 11th, but I hope it is. And if it is, I'll point it out. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. Consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye. True power is born of the heart. A wish from which thy strength is drawn. Yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake.